this is a sample table and here we have this caption and this bold words this bold text are the header elements or we can say header data cells and other cells are the table data cells so this this cell here or this one here all the other cells are the data cells and we call a line like this a row and there are 1 2 3 4 data rows in this table and these what we call columns so there are 1 1 2 and 3 columns in this table and as you can see in this table we have added some texts and some images but in a table there are lots of other html elements that we can include let's go ahead and see how can we create a table let's create a sample table i'll create a text document here and name this as sample table dot html yes and then we open this file in the notepad right now first we will specify the doc type and then the html tag in this html first we have to define the head element and let's put a title call and then we we'll create the body tag and first give a header to this page right now we can define the table and first create a caption and then we will create the table head element right here we will define only one table row and in that we will put one table heading element then we can define the table body and in the table body we again specify a single table row and inside we will define a data table cell and that's it let's save this file and open it in the browser 
striped. Now you see this table. Now this is our H1 tag. And this is the caption. This is the head table cell, table header cell. And this is the table data cell. Let's add a border to this table. One easy way is to define the border width. Let's say two pixels. Now we can clearly see the two cells in this table, this header table cell and this data table cell. Right. Now there are other things we can do to this table. As a start, first specify the width of the table. For this example, I put it as 40%. So that field spans up to 40% of the screen width. Right. Now, if you see, if we can, if we reduce the size to one pixel, the border is not as thick as it was before. Now, modify this sample table that we have created before to create a little bit advanced table. I'll copy this same file and rename it as camels. Let's open up that file. Right. Now here, it will give a title as the same header tags, table example page. And put camels. And here, we will not specify a width for the moment, but we'll keep the border as one. And we'll keep the, we'll change the caption to, here is a more complex sample table. And then it comes this column group HTML tag. Call group will keep some space between this different tag types. Fine. Now here we specify call align right and call span equals four and closing group tag. Then we have a T head element here. Here we will expand this first header table cell into two rows. We can do that by specifying the row span attribute equal to two. We will delete this text here. Now, we will put an image of a camel here. 
AMG SRC equals images camel.jpg. Actually, I have a I have an image containing a camel picture. Uh, if you go here, we have this image here, camel.jpg. And we specify some widths and heights of the image. In this case, the default, the original width and height are 450 pixels versus 300 pixels. So we will try to make the image half of the original size. Then that comes to uh, 225 into 150. And also we'll put an alt attribute picture of a camel. And we close the image tag. We shall also close these individual tags. Right. Now we, we open another table heading tag Camelid comparison and also a paragraph Now we will create another table row here. Inside that we will have four table heading cells. Number of humps. Then indigenous region, spits, and then produces wool. And in the T body, first take a look at we have what we have created right. Now we have a picture here and this text and another empty cell. So if we open up our source code, now let's get back to the source code and create a table header. and a table data cell to another table data cell, Africa, Asia. And another T, D, data data, table data cell with row span of two
Lama. Then we have another data table cell. Calling Lama. Then we will create another table row. With table heading and one data table cell. and another data set. Yeah, we save the file and see what's in there. Yes, now you can see this column Spans to two rows. And also, this column also spans to two rows. If, it's, uh, if you go to the source code, now that happened from these two lines row span two, row span two. That means we we do not need another two data cells in the table row below because these are expanding to the next row. Now, even here, this heading table cell containing the images spans to two rows that as we have specified here, row span two, that, that means this cell spans to two rows. Apart from this image, that table row only contain one other table heading element. It is this one that had an H2 tag as well as a paragraph tag. If we add another TD or TH HTML element here, that will appear in this area. But in this case, it's empty. In the second row, we can see the, the first space is allocated for this row span in the row above this one, because the first header table cell needed two spaces, two cells, because it spanned to two cells here. The second row starts with number of humps from here. The browser knows we have to allocate this space for the spanning table cell from the row above. After that, it shows this indigenous region and whether they are whether they splits and also whether they produces wood. Right. Now, then we come to this table body, and again. Here, we have another heading table cell, but in this case, there are no spanning table cells to acquire the space of the first table header or table cell. Therefore, this appears in the first space here. All first three table cells appear as usual, but as we have discussed, 
these two stable cells occupy more space from the row below. So that's how we have created this kind of a table. Now, I think you are very clear how we can add more table headers, heading table cells or data table cells into this kind of a table. But how can we achieve the same functionality from the Microsoft Expression web 